worked me at Gamal. And you're not using that as a as like a figure of speech. You actually can't believe it. Like, I, I just right. You Luigi need to see Gosher, the bracket with your own eyes. He is a great Luigi from Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Midwest. Representing. And, yeah, it's just Crush is a very, very strong player. That's probably his best win ever. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Right here, we got some hype players. Yeah, another Midwesterner. Uh, Captain Face Roll. Um, he belongs to Irvine. He's a, he's a West Coast transplant, let's be honest. He, he fought for Irvine last night. That's true, yeah. And he's going up against Ryan Ford, a longtime top Fox player from... Canada, it's Toronto, it's the Toronto Pacific, area, yeah, yeah. Ontario. He's been rocking him for, for many, many years. I remember mm. playing him in like Big House Three. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for a while he was like what considered uh, top ten, top fifteen player. Um, and he's starting to really travel a lot more again. Oh my God, look at his tech chase. Yeah, face roll, of course, known for his sick tech chasing. Yep. Only one stock difference right now. I think it was the illusion suicide. Did you see how that uh, tech chase got started up too? Uh, I love this. Is one of my favorite setups for players to get grabs against uh, space animals is Face Roll knew that Ryan Ford was going to try to cross through him there, so he just put his back to him. And then when you cross through, you just grab, because they think they're safe, they think they can dash away, but... Um. It's a pretty cool stance in neutral, where you turn your back and shield, anticipating that cross-up. Mm. But there we saw Ryan Ford doing a lot of edge pressure. Seal out one more stock. Yeah. But this percent, it's pretty easy for Sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Once, uh, it's, it, it's kind of weird the way the matchup works because at low percentages, it feels so difficult. Ever sheep. It's Fox advantage at low percent. Yeah, by like a pretty decent low. margin, I would say. Um, yeah, Fox is low percent. But once she builds some percentage, it becomes a much more even matchup. And like, this punish is pretty crazy right yeah, now. Yeah, a lot of two. Sheiks would struggle to build 62% the way Face Roll did, but. I mean, that's a big part of his philosophy as a Sheik player with the tech chasing is because he re he recognizes that it's an important disadvantage aspect. that Sheik has. Yeah, exactly. He needs to be able to build percentage reliably. Ryan Ford doing an excellent job, though, every time he pushes face roll off stage. Taking two quick stocks off of the uh, edge guards. Yep, you're going to notice that Sheik definitely well, I love suffers. that. That's a stock. That's sick. Jump read. Yeah, really sick. She suffers from off stage positioning, and that jump read was enough to seal it out at low percent. Ryan Ford looking pretty strong, but launcher percent. That's the, the matchup, right? Once Fox is at a higher percent, he's going to get knocked off. Do you think those needles were a little... Mm, yeah, see, that's... I actually don't mind those as a mix-up, but you got to be super sparing with those. Especially against a player like Ryan Ford, who's super uh, cautious in how he approaches uh, Keep him honest. the ledge. Throw it in, mix it in. Yeah. Yep. The the full needle charge sometimes discourages me from using it because like, it has so much end lag. Yeah, you put yourself very low below the stage. Sheik so. already has uh, trouble when she gets on stage recovering. Or staying alive, I should say, against Fox. Yeah, Ryan Ford did just show us how much rinse and repeat edge guarding he did. Once you knock Sheik off, she goes through that recovery phase. And if you have good form on the edge, you can really take advantage of it. Yeah. Face Roll was winning that whole game until Ryan got that early KO at, like, what, 30%? He read the jump with the back air. Even starting off that Illusions SD. Word. Right now we see Face Roll struggling to get back on stage. Just a little mix-up. Mm. Ooh, that's scary. If you're a little late punishing that air dodge, she can get down smash out. Down smash or shield, yeah. And, and this Mewtwo King recovery, using that air dodge as the third jump. It's really sick. One way is to get around... <laughs> one of the ways to get around Cheek's uh, subpar recovery. <laughs> Don't use it. Which is <laughs> yeah, air dodge. I mean, yeah, the air dodge is the last mix-up. So he goes for the edge. Ryan Ford, low, low percent. Really great neutral game. Yeah. Out Super great at corner pressure. As soon as he puts Cheek in the corner. You're going to notice he doesn't really throw out a lot of whiffed attacks in neutral. A lot of them are just laser pinpoint. He's very tilt-heavy Fox, too. I don't think I see any Fox F-tilt as much as Ryan Ford. Yeah, it's those old school you know, neutral games. Is he going to keep taking plays? No, nope, goes for the miss tech. Bissler with the dash back out of crouch. That's a small window. I don't know how many frames it is, He's but it's so not good a lot. at that. That's one of his key techniques. Mm -hmm. Prevents you from getting punished from that get up attack if you crouch through it. Good Cap form. Captain Face Roll and Wizard Roll, the two crouch amazing. Tech yeah. And uh, Drug Fox, I would say. Oh, yeah. Very strong Ooh, in this aspect. Yeah. Great patience by Ryan on the ledge. Yeah, holding that ledge prevents Sheik from getting it with that up B. Very good. Finally, face roll on the board, but he's got a huge deficit. How do you feel about him taking uh, Ryan to Dreamland? I believe this is still a best of three, yeah. And, I mean, for this is, I feel like this is the neutral stage a lot of times in this matchup. It does These, get struck to here. Yeah, it gets struck here a lot. 
beneficial with the counter pick three one. ASDI down gets that knockdown. Ooh, that time. Great reaction. Oh, a little late on the tech end. Yeah, those platforms are a little bit awkward height for Sheik. She has to really commit to something. Oh, no up smash? Yeah, it looked like one Ryan Ford. Yeah, it was close. It was very close. There was potential for uh, Facebook to be able to jump out of that. In which case, if he goes for the up smash, he meant the punish ends. So, played it safe, didn't go for it. Face roll is getting shined below the ledge a lot, too, which is making it a lot more difficult. He needs to hold down. This is actually a tech that uh, maybe should be talked about a little bit more. When you get shined by Fox, some characters, if they hold down and then release after, like right at the ledge, they'll snap the ledge very quickly. You don't want to hold down to, to miss the ledge, but it's actually really important that you snap to the ledge instead of flying past it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, read the roll. All right. Two stocks. Kind of a big commitment necessary for, for Sheik to just kill him in a neutral, but down smash in the middle worked out. Mm -hmm. Ah, straight up KOs. Didn't even give him a chance to recover. Yeah, big backer. Like it. In neutral, sometimes you have to just pick the right move like that. She was at such a high percent. You see this nice tech chase coming out. Yeah, Ryan with the tech plays every time. Just challenging Phase Roll's ability to cover that. <laughs> sometimes Phase tech out. not mixing it. <laughs> there it's it is. slow, right? Yeah, yeah. All it's much easier crosses. to react to. Dude, face roll, he's about to even it up. I think, uh, oh, what's for oh, No, try to reverse. reverse it. He still gets yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Nice cleanup. I think he could have just gone for back air, right? Off he, that up air. I'm, I'm sure dare. he was thinking that that back air wouldn't have killed, so let's go for yeah. some sick money. He's trying to optimize. Misses a tech chase. Uh, the whole needles go away. Now face roll, a slight disadvantage. Dude, considering how uh, efficient face roll's tech chase is, Tech chasing has been this game. It's pretty impressive that Ryan is doing as well as he is. Because when he's getting grabbed, he's just taking so much damage. He is. So he, Ryan has to win neutral that much faster, right? Each time Griffin breaks open, Tech Ooh. Chase. He's going to come back and win himself. Oh, that tournament, tournament winner is going to be... And how many times is he going to up be at that height? He's eating needles there. I saw it two times that game, at least. I love standing needle for that Once reason. First game. It's so low commit from Sheik to just... Oh, it, yeah. it's nothing for, for Sheik. Just throw some cards out there, and then you just bust 21. <laughs> just dead. So that actually, you said throw some cards. We need an X-Men Gambit skin for sure. I would love a Gambit That's skin. my favorite. He's my favorite X-Men. Yeah, he'd be a great character. That I would be so sick. <laughs> he throws the cards. He has a staff. The bow staff is so good, <laughs> dude. I love it. I am glad we share this love. I've always wished Gambit was in these games. He has that Nolan's accent. Right here, Pokemon Stadium. So handsome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Rugged Southern. Pokemon Stadium is an obvious counter pick for yeah. Fox. She sometimes struggles on the stage because of how wide it is and how separate the platforms are. Mm. The thing about the matchup too is Fox just wins the counter pick war, right? He's got three solid counter picks he can go to. Um, and depending on what kind of Fox you are too, some of them are better than others. So it can be difficult for the Sheik to decide which stages to strike. First stage, face roll struck too, or the only stage you say. He really went for like a big low ground mm. and big boundaries, right? So harder for himself to get killed and good opportunities for tech chases. So this actually kind of fits that uh, mold as well then. Oh! Oh! Uh, needles are too good. Oh my god, take ledge! Face roll! He's gonna dash, die to dash attack. <laughs> dash attack KO. A little bit of a head shake from face roll, but he still gets the stop. Ledge dash is missed, and nice. great punish from Ryan Ford. Yeah. he's. I feel like he's always waiting when he needs to, to catch the air dodge or... His positioning, yeah, is, is extremely good. Mm -hmm. These full hop drills are actually hard to punish when you jump out of them. Face rolls just got to reposition himself. Yeah. He's having a little bit of trouble finding some space. Ryan doing a nice job staying on top of him. We will do that as Fox in this matchup makes it so hard for Sheik. Yeah, don't give her any breathing room. No, if you don't, it's, I mean, it's difficult to execute, but if you, if you got the chops, all of a sudden, uh, <laughs> all the Sheik players are looking to avoid you in bracket. Yeah. They struggle with this matchup sometimes, but we're going to see Face Roll try to get... He got, he got caught by, you see that, by the, Stadium? The transformation. The transformation held him, him in off. place. It's like Ooh, high Great wave dodge back. This movement is going to get caught in a grab and nice SDI out. Mm. I don't even know if he needed SDI out right there. It just looked like the up air may have missed. By the movement, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Dash away, wave dash back in, shine. A really nice anti-approach option for Fox. This roll, up tilt. 
They almost killed. I think he was just being very low command. I, yeah, I don't know. Just up smash or take, take ledge, ledge or there's like 6,000 different things you could do. He only takes one aerial for that, but let's see. Face roll can use invincibility oh. right here and the rising down air. To read the full hop? Oh, he landed, he landed, he landed. Up air. Really well positioned by face roll. Dude, that full hop down air was so sick. On the side platform, too. He just read the jump. Yeah. Really good combo movement. Nice what? near out by face roll. Oh. Ooh. Goes for the upper instead of a shine. You know, kind of surprised face roll the eye that uh, off stage. Yeah, but no punish from Ryan Ford. You almost thought that rinse and repeat was gonna come out. Mm. That's what I was scared of when you died off stage. You know. Damn, face roll is so good at finding the smallest openings. Yeah, he plants himself on the ground and waits for Fox to land himself. Nice mix up in the recovery, but high platform. Yeah. And. I don't know how many times we've seen this, a fox cheek on stadium go to windmill towards the last stock. <laughs> All the transformations make she kind of look weird. Yeah. Wow, Ooh. she catches the jump. He landed. Oh, Fisher missed the dash input. Great DI on the dash attack to find it, too. But he keeps challenging his way back in, and Face Roll's going to find... No, he misses it. Wow. This actually could be huge. 41%, 54. That's big. That's so big. Face Roll needed to stay at low percentage to make this... Make Easy. it a little easier on yeah. himself. Yeah. 69%. That's a lot. It's like a grab combo and away. he's off stage now, Shine too. Shine combo. Oh, no. Face Roll. He Ooh, gets the okay. mix up. Ryan tried to play super safe with just the roll from ledge. Doesn't want to get poofed or double poofed or anything like that. But. But just really Ooh. fast shuffles are <gasps> defeating neutral. Oh my god, face roll gets a grab. Is he gonna go for the up F throw? That's it. Oh face roll, god. he's gonna get it. Oh, no, he's late! He he's late up. on the needle turnaround! Wow. Ryan with a bit of a head shake. Canada. Oh my god. An offstage position. Griffin is face roll. Face roll could have gotten a double fair or something, but he. He went He went for the, to try to grab ledge again. I thought he would uh, needle when he got him below the ledge. Yeah, he could have he could have stayed on stage and needled downwards. Yeah. There was just a, a small choke moment, and when he did the needle turnaround, you're right, he got caught by fire. Yep. The camera is occluded by the stage. I actually think he was a bit slow on the needle 